everybody, welcome back to Skyrim, the Hero of Galomir mod. I don't think I mentioned the name of it in the last episode, so I'm mentioning it now. And as always, if you want to try this mod out for yourself, check in the description. Um, I'll have a link to the Nexus mod version, but there is also a, um, a, um, shit, a Steam community version that you can get. Have you Tundra. noticed that lad seem to be greener and blue stronger behind that gate? Yeah. Be wary. That's the domain of powerful tree creatures. Terrible curse made them very aggressive and almost unkillable. All right. No point in fighting them if you don't have something to trap their souls in. Oh. They'll just grow back in no time. Well, it just so happens that I have the ability to do that, sir. Okay, so this is where we came from. So we need to go this way. Like I said, as much of a fateful um, recreation this is of medieval, there are some things that are different. For instance, this entire thing right here. You need three branches to start a fire, so you're going to have to look for some branches that are around here. Okay, that's one. That's two, and that's three, so we're going to do that. And let the fight begin! Oh! Oh, shit! No! You're probably going to want to put this into a bit of an um, easier difficulty. A powerful soul may come in handy. So yeah, that's what your um, Chalice of Souls is meant to do in this game. You use it to catch the souls of very difficult to defeat enemies. Let's keep this a going. Oh, gargoyles. Hello. Oh, wait. The living world lies through this way, but the gates are locked. No key, no open. Yeah, that sucks. What about this? The living world lies beyond these skull gates. The master of the hilltop mausoleum, the stained glass demon, has possession of the skull key. You know, I can't remember for the life of me if they give you a skull key and if you're actually able to advance. I know that this doesn't cover the entire game, though. Like, this mod doesn't cover the entire game. Only the first couple, which is fine. I would imagine it would be pretty damn hard to actually recreate certain stuff. But right here is our first altar. And it's Candy Tim. So let's get this. Captain Fortescue, it's me, Canny Tim. Does the battle go well? <laughs> oh, how I wish I could fight at your side again, sir. But hold, you could take my crossbow. I could take it's it. It's got rapid fire and can be super useful on your quest. And can ricochet. I, battle of Galomir. I guess he and couldn't do the slain, ricochet. Zarok's champion, Lord Cardock. A clean kill. Through the eye at some 1,000 yards. Yeah, I'll use that. Oh, there we go. I will put that on, and I will put on the automatic crossbows, one of my favorites. Let's go ahead and try that. See how that kind of works. Oh, that's cool. Um, there's this mod that uh, gave me problems uh, last time um, that made me drop shit just for no reason. But yeah, it's not working now, so let's see. Oh, I like that. I really like that. Oh, and I can actually get some crossbow bolts back. So that's cool. I think I'll use this for a little bit. But now we're on to the next part. Let's see. I guess we gotta go down here because we can't really get across there. I'm trying to be like, I know I can get across there. Ooh. Mm -mm. Let's see. 
Might as well get two bolts back. Alright, so. Read the tombstone message. Apparently the pen is not mightier than the sword. Yep. That's about right. There's a lot of humor in this mod too, so check out everything that you can possibly read, every single person that you can actually talk to. There, there's some little, um, there's some British style of comedy in there. There's some UK-ish comedy. What's... Hey, dead man. Is that a bone in your pocket? No, I'm just happy to see you, big boy. Alright. Let's see. Yeah, I can jump super high in case you guys didn't see the last episode. Ooh, God! God, that was a bunch of shit. Alright, let's go ahead. Heal up. Cool. So, I'm guessing that we just have to kind of go across here. Ooh! No! No! Oh, I forget. This isn't, um... This isn't PS1 Medieval where you die whenever you hit the water, so I'm good. Whoop. Come here! Ooh! Kill cam! God. Let's see here. It says to go that away. Jump! Ah! Whoa! Big giant hand! Giant! That would have made an interesting boss battle. I wonder if he's hiding in there somewhere. But this is how you're supposed to get through. And poor guy. Poor guy. Okay, so. Whoa! Get down and here. Let me give you a boost. Which is kind of nice. Thank you, sir. God, I probably missed something, but fuck it. All right, let's climb up. All right, so I'm sure there's got to be a way that we can get back if we need to, but. Let's see what everybody has to say. The adventurer would be wise to be thorough in his exploration of an area. Hidden locations reap great rewards. Yeah, listen to him. He knows what he's talking about. Tread softly. Zarek awaits beyond these gates. Mm -hmm. The master meets with the demon from the mausoleum, hatching plots of purest evil. Forgotten nobodies would be wise to make themselves scarce. Did you, see, did you hear that fart? That's how much I care about what you have to say, old man. Wow, what happened to you? I, I was kind of dead. So what about you, bitch? What? Hey, did you just talk with that gargoyle? Yeah. He never said anything to me. Hell, I didn't even know they could speak. Well, maybe you shouldn't have been such a bitch. All right, so. Let's see what we got around here. This is where it gets really different from, um, from the, uh, from the original game. Oh, God! My cat distracted me! Cat! <laughs> Alright, so. Let's take a look at this. I remember... Oh, the Cursed Club. A new weapon. The cool thing about the Cursed Club is that you can actually um, light it on fire. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to put on... Okay, cool. Didn't drop anything. Cool. Okay, so that's not one of the fires that we need. Okay. Yeah! And it's a little bit more powerful than the small sword. So that's always a plus. Got to remember to actually put my weapon away so you guys can see a little bit more. Whoop! Bitch. 
All right, and shopkeeper hideout. This guy has something oh, that we'll probably like. It's nice to see a friendly soul. Let's see. And that's the thing. Um, this is one enemy that you have to fight that's optional. If you defeat him, you can get another life bottle, which is pretty cool. But for right now, it's I'm going to get doing business with you. some it's been a pleasure doing business that. With you. All right, so let's get out of here and let's continue our exploration. God, I hope I don't take up way too much time doing this. Like, I like this mod and I love Medieval, but I don't want this to turn into a 15-part series. I want you guys to see what this mod's all about. And then fucking... Yeah. Oh, shit! Ah. <clears throat> Bitch. Okay, so. Uh oh. Giant spire! No! No! Get away from me! Yeah! Here's your daddy now, spider. Bitch. Okay, so we can move the rock there. But there's supposed to be a fire around here somewhere. It might be inside, actually. So let's go ahead and go in there. Okay, yeah. Into the witch's coven. I'm getting my one handed up to you 100. <laughs> Fresh air. We hate these dark old caves and their filthy stench of old witches. A coven of the warty old hags lived here once. Unholy fires burning all night while they brewed up unspeakable muck in their cauldrons. Yeah. They moved Bastards. on years back, but the smell still makes our eyes stink. Mm. Sad. Well. Oh, hello there, sir. You just got butts Alright. So this was the flame that I was talking about that you need to gain access to. Let's see. Some research crap. <laughs> you can't even read it. A guide to coven. Witches' coven should reach the highest amount of power when their magical flames are alight. Witches have been known to offer help to the questing adventurer, yet they are reclusive people and might have to be summoned by the aid of mystic charms or, or talisman. Let it be known that that help from a witch is rarely given freely, and the witch will more than likely make a request of the adventurer before any such help is given. If seeking a summon a witch, always remember that they are quite territorial. Any signs of previous witch activity in the area is a good indication that a witch can be called upon. Dot, dot, dot. Well, that's interesting. Is there a witch's talisman here? I don't see one. But, if I remember medieval, I need to do this. Because in here there should be a fire that I should light. Yep. Uh-oh. Come on. Soul fire! Ooh! Kill cam! Whoa. Something's going on in there. Oh, I hit in the head with a fucking club. I leveled up. Uh-oh. This ain't good. I need more health. Because I need to not die. I'll do that. I'll do Wandsman. Yeah! Bash him in the head. Right, son? 
All right, so what do we got in here? Read Wizard and Sorcery, Issue 8. You tell you never. Yeah, fuck. Let's see. Spell Tree of Skulls. Let's see. I don't think that has anything to do with it, but. Let's see. The Jotex. Nope, nope, nope. The Jotex. I never um, thought to use a book lover, Dan. <laughs> The Necronom or something. Do not touch that! <laughs> oh shit! I'll take your bets on that. Let's see, read Panorphic Manuscript. Sure. Book written by someone who loved his craft. Well, that's weird. There's supposed to be one other book here that you're supposed to actually take if you want an extra reward. Maybe it's in here. Let's get that witch's talisman. You know what? As much as I despise first person sometimes, I'm going to look this way at stuff. Whoa! Yeah. Take that. All right. Now let's double check that room. Because I know. Oh, that's it. That's the book. Medieval 2. The year's 1886, and it's been 500 years after Sir Daniel's battle against the evil sorcerer Zerok. A sorcerer named Lord Palethorn lo discovers Zerok's spell book and casts its location, raising er, casts its spell, raising the dead all over the city of London. However, the pages of the book sco soon scatter across London, and Palethorn gains a demon-like appearance as a result. The spell Palethorn casts once again brings Sir Daniel Fortescue, who has been resting at a nearby museum. Um, back to life. He is recruited by a doctor named Hamilton Kitt and his ghostly sidekick Winston to recover the pages of Zarek's spell book and put an end to Palathorn's plans. Along the way, they are joined by an ancient mummy named Kia, Dan's future love interest. Now, if you want a secret at the end of this, you will take the book. And I will show you, hopefully in the next episode, how to go about doing that. But Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to know when the next episode's coming out. This is our Sony signing off. Grrr.